I tried. I really tried to do the super cool, pretty, cinematic location. But this car? This car just grabs the attention of everyone near it. So to plan B it was. Tucked away in the bosom of Mother Nature herself. A secret little hidey hole that's more off the grid than Bigfoot's summer home. My backyard. Oh, this thing? It's just the 2023 Stingray Coupe 2LT Z51. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss out on our deep dives into automotive marvels like these. Dressed in Elkhart Lake Blue, this isn't just the Corvette. It's a Stingray armed with a 6.2 liter LT2 V8. There's nothing short of a powerhouse in the heart of this beast, speeding with 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The lines on this beast aren't just for show either. They guide the wind, taming it even. Every curve, Every crease is there for a purpose. Inside, it's like a pilot's dream. Take a seat in the cockpit and you'll see what I mean. That's not like a rhyme. <laughs> the dash, the steering wheel, every control is angled towards the driver. It doesn't just make you feel like you're in control. It tells you. This model comes with a 2LT package. What does that mean? It means you get a whole lot of safety features, like a front HD camera, HD rear view camera, rear cross traffic alerts, and blind spot monitoring. And then there's comfort. We're talking about heated and ventilated seats, power lumbar, and bolster adjustments. Oh, and a heated steering wheel. Now let's talk performance. Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. And you're probably wondering, what about top speed? Well, if I told you that, I would have to hire a really, really, really good lawyer. Power isn't the only thing that this Stingray has. It has brains too. It's got a clever cylinder deactivation system for better fuel efficiency. This lets the car sip fuel in tour mode. It shuts down half the cylinders while cruising, making it as frugal as it is fast. When it's time for some fun, switch to sport mode or track. The roar of the engine, the rapid shifts, the way this thing clings to the road. Oh, shit. oh my god! <laughs> it's an experience. And that's thanks to the Z51 package. Better brakes, a magnetic ride suspension, and an active exhaust, and a whole lot more. It truly turns this Corvette into a track monster. And that, my friends, is the 2023 Corvette Stingray Coupe 2LT. This car doesn't just move, it roars, it flies, it captivates. You can still see me. All right, all right. So the Corvette C8 Stingray Z51. Flashy as a disco ball at a retirement party. It was turning more heads than a chiropractor on a busy day. Not exactly the low key we were looking for while filming a car review. What else is included in the Z51 package? Well, you get a rear axle or differential performance ratio, high performance tires, a Z51 spoiler, performance suspension, an electronic limited slip differential, performance brakes, and a performance exhaust. This specific model also includes a front lift with adjustable height memory, 20-spoke forged aluminum wheels, Z51 performance suspension with magnetic selective ride, performance traction management, GT2 bucket seats, carbon fiber trim interior, bright red painted brake calipers, stealth interior trim package, composite rockers, and a 10 seat belt. 
All of these options cost $18,000, pushing the price of this vehicle to $91,600. Right, so picture this. Me, an outsider in the petrolhead world, getting a knock at my door. It's the big leagues tossing me the keys to a 2023 Corvette Stingray Z51. More than keys, it's a golden ticket into the belly of the beast. Raw power, cunning style, a cinematic voice that sounds nothing like me. It was my time to shine. I wrote down a script and I don't want to stick to it 100%. It is fast. <laughs> Closer to one of the fastest cars I've ever driven. Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. That's, that is quick. It feels like it's taking off on you. And it's real-wheel drive and it has so much grip. Like, all of this seats are bucket seats, which kind of have a hint of carbon fiber on it. It looks really, really nice. The interior is called uh, natural, I believe. And I guess it's, it's like a tan leather color. It's a tan, that's tan. It looks good, it looks so good. Thanks chickens. The color, the color, it sparkles. It has caught everybody's attention that I have driven past, that wherever, wherever I have stopped at, people have came to talk to me and that has never happened before, especially in my area, that is very, very rare. Tires, they're Pilot Sport 4S's, which I know that these tires are costly, but they are really good for grip and for cornering and stuff like that. The doors don't go up, which is okay, we don't need that, but they do open up wide. And getting in and out of this car, it makes you feel like you're getting out of a supercar. Like the engine is in the back of the car, for those that don't know. Um, this car is mid-engined and uh, I'll tell you, it is so nice just seeing the engine sitting back here behind you. The Z51 package does also add a cooling upgrade. Uh, the cooling system does get loud. It sounds like an airplane taking off, which I feel like fits the whole aesthetic of stealth pilot, fighter jet pilot person. And the roof fits back here in the trunk, just like every other Corvette. Uh, I feel like this car looks best with the roof off. If you have the roof on, you have more trunk space, obviously. Like, there's a lot of room. It's pretty deep and it's really wide. And the front trunk. <laughs> and the front trunk is also very deep. Um, I can fit my book bag, my tripod, with slider, uh, my monitor stands, and everything fits in there. You have to kind of organize it properly, but it fits in there. So there is space in this car. Um, as for having something that is daily drivable, all the modes, there's weather mode, there is my mode, which I'm uncertain 100%, I need to mess around with it a little bit more, but if Z mode is part of my mode, there's a mode, you, you press the button and it activates all your settings that you had set prior, which is your steering, your suspension, your exhaust, or engine note. Everything is editable in there, which is pretty cool to me. The buttons on the center are for the AC, which kind of at first overwhelmed me, but after driving for a little bit, it's actually pretty, you know where your hand goes. It's kind of like a muscle memory, so it didn't bother me too much while driving. Um, I mainly drove it in manual mode, which is because, I don't know, I just like shifting gears. It's so much fun. And with it in sport and track mode, it actually gives you a little bit of like a back jolt when you're shifting gears. It feels pretty good. Almost like how the notchy feelings when you're driving a, a gated manual. The little notchy feeling you get when you shift. There's 19s in the front and there are 20s in the back. Um, the back are also wider than the front. That's for traction reasoning. And one thing I like about the trunk, one thing I like about the, I say trunk, the back, trunk hood, trunk hood, the trid. Well, one thing I like about the trid is that it is self-closing. You push it down a little bit so that it latches on. I'm over here failing. Push it down and it actually closes itself. So that is also good. It saves you from touching the paint a lot. But I can't say the same about the front. The front actually, you have to kind of force it down and it feels, I feel terrible every time I do it because I feel like I'm ruining the paint. So that's one little thing I don't like, but that's probably the only thing I don't like about this car. 
Um, I was worried about the rain, because it's been raining here a lot, um, getting into the vents here for the engine bay, but I'm sure Chevy has thought about that beforehand. So as for the sound system, it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a must these days. But uh, with the roof off, it doesn't sound nearly as good as with the roof on. So keep that in mind when you're driving. I don't know if this has extra big four speakers than the base model does. So it's trying. Maybe if you tune the settings a little bit better, it would sound better, but it definitely sounds way more elegant with the roof on. So that's another cool thing about the car as well. And that, my friends, is the beauty of this beast. Comment some things you love or don't love about the C8. And if you enjoyed this review, check out my Polestar 2 or BMW 230i review. And enjoy the drive.